1041. We're out here and we're ready to go. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are here once again at Paramount Ice all by ourselves. We're gonna try and use this dusty little wood twig, compare it to my no-name twig over there and see if I should go back to using a wood stick. Obviously, I haven't used this in a while, clearly. I'm thinking we just leave this as is in its natural form. This is a coho wood stick. Uh, mostly used for street hockey because it's not taped up as of now. You can see the blade there is all scuffed up from road hockey and stuff. So I'm going to tape this bad boy up and then we'll take him on the ice and uh, see which one's better. We'll do some shooting, do some stick handling. Uh, yeah, we'll see if I should go back to using a wood stick. Also, shout out to my boys at uh, Howie's Hockey for providing the tape that I'm going to tape this twig up with. I've got everything I need here. Black tape, white tape, wax, I've got grip tape here, and this accessory bag. So if you want to pick anything up from Howie's, tape, bags, uh, they got clothing and stuff too, uh, be sure to hit them up using the link in the description below and use code TDI10 for 10% off your order. You smell that? Strawberry kiwi. Alright guys, we're out here on the mini rink once again, and today we are going to be looking at two sticks. The first one, you've seen it before, it's my regular no-name hockey stick that we tested last video. And in the other corner we have our wood stick that we mostly use for road hockey, but we are going to see today which of these sticks holds up better. Obviously pretty much everybody nowadays uses the composite sticks, but I've always wanted to see because I've gone such a long time using composite stick, whether a wood stick still holds up today. I mean, I've talked about the features of this one before. It's my no-name hockey stick. Uh, it's custom made with my name and number on it. But uh, basically, composite stick, it's built from like carbon fiber. It's a lot more flexible, while at the same time being lighter. So you're able to shoot and stick handle uh, with more efficiency, not using as much energy. One of the downsides is that uh, composite sticks are not as durable. And it varies by uh, stick manufacturer, but uh, this no-name stick, I had an older model, it lasted about two beer league seasons, then it snapped, so I have this new one, which, I mean, two seasons is pretty good. But if I was using a wood stick, I mean, you can just see how old this is, how long it's lasted, and although I haven't used it, you know, on a regular basis, it's held up for at least 10 years. And that's mostly because the wood sticks are made of solid wood, and uh, although they are flexible, um, they're much heavier. Just by lifting them, um, this one feels almost two to three times heavier, at least, than my composite no-name stick. Another key difference between these two specific sticks is that this one has grip on it, so it's better for shooting might not be as good for stick handling and that's also something I want to test because this one you can just slide your hand up and down with with ease um, obviously you might get some splinters here and there but uh, there's no grip on this so it allows your hand to glide through the shaft smoother um, than the no-name composite stick with grip but yeah in this video the two main things I want to test out are how much the weight impacts my stick handling and my shot as well as how the weight and the no grip feel uh, impacts my stick handling. So, without further ado, let's warm up with this wood stick because I'm not very used to it, and then we'll get into the video. Let's go. First impressions, it's heavy, and I can barely shoot with it. Correction, I can barely do wrist shots. Clapper's not bad. You know what, I better be careful though, because uh, my shoulders, my arms are getting tired already just from a two minute warm up so far, so I gotta take things easy a little bit. We'll get into the video. We'll start off with some shooting as always. So first off, we're gonna do some shooting. Uh, we got this little stick handling obstacle in the middle. I'm gonna stick handle through it, around it, toe drag, and then try and snipe all four pylons off in as little attempts as possible. I'm gonna start on the back hand. Forehand, back hand, forehand, toe drag, and shoot. That's 
could be a little bit annoying if the pylons keep falling off, but that's the gist of the drill. Let's go. I figure this is a better camera angle. You won't just see my back. You actually see what I'm doing from the side a little bit. All right, let's go. I'm thinking we won't put the pylons back up. We'll just go until we hit the floor. If it falls in the bottom of the net, we'll just try and snipe it there, okay? But we'll start with them on, on the top. One of these days I want to impress you guys with one of these drills, but it uh, looks like it's not today. If we struggled that much with the composite stick, I'm not excited for the wood stick, oh god. I remember, if the puck doesn't touch the pylon, it's still fair game, alright? Even if it falls, I gotta hit it to knock it. I don't even think I got all of them with the composite stick, I just got it too fed up. So, let's go, wood stick, come on. First attempt in a pool of pucks. It is harder to roll my wrist than stick handle. Also, this stick is too short for me. But slightly too short. Still doing better than we do with the comps I think. It's a little bit icy, but uh, we did it, thankfully. I'm dead tired, my back sore, the thing, yeah. So we might have done about the same with the composite and the wood stick. The main thing is though, is that it's so much more efficient using the composite stick, as I was saying earlier. I'm just, I'm just beat right now. I'm so not used to using a, a big wooden stick like that. I mean, it works. And it'll be get stronger, obviously. I mean, people use weighted pucks as stick handle. Might as well use like an old weighted stick. And the stick handling with the composite stick would be a breeze. So, you know what? Let me try some shots with the composite stick now. After using the wooden, see how much different it feels. This feels light as a feather, like I said. Uh, my hands feel faster all of a sudden. Definitely a lot tougher with the wood stick. 
In terms of shooting accuracy, with the wrist shot at least, I would say composite stick all the way. Stick handling time. All right, so once again, we're gonna pit the composite versus the wood stick against each other. Stick handling this time. We got a course here behind me you guys saw. I'm gonna do three attempts with each stick. We're gonna record how far I get. So basically, whichever stick I get the farthest through the course with will be the winner, all right? Pretty simple, let's go. First one to get nine, let's try and beat that. Tell number two. We got up to 13 with the composite stick. Let's see if we can beat that one with the heavy wood stick. Let's go. So officially, composite stick won this challenge. Got 13, wood stick got 12. Let's do a few more runs though, just to practice, just didn't get much practice on that. So let's see which stick I can get through the entire course with first, all right? So we'll switch it up every time. Composite wood, composite wood, let's go. All right, this is my road to silky bits. Let's go, composite stick. Let's see if going the other way makes a difference. Count that? I think we're gonna count that. Alright, we're gonna give the wood stick two more attempts, once there, once back. If I don't do it with the wood stick, composite stick will be crowned the champion. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah. All right, wood stick, you're just too damn heavy for me. And uh, I noticed, I thought the no grip would be better for stick handling, but I felt my hand sliding a lot more than I'm used to. Maybe because I am used to the grip, so I don't have to grip my stick as hard. And it's heavier, so it's harder to control. In the battle and the debate of composite versus wood, we gotta go with composite every time, man. It's, technology has evolved for a reason. I've kind of been taking this thing for granted, to be honest, just how light it is, how easy it is to stick handle, and, and get my shots off as quick as I can. I'm so glad we don't have to use those uh, wood sticks anymore, but I really, really do respect the guys back in the day. And, 
Myself, actually, because I kind of grew up on using wood sticks. I've obviously still got lots to work on. That's why I'm loving this facility here at Paramount Ice. Thank you once again to them for having me out here and letting me film some awesome content for you guys. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, drop a like on the video. If you're really loving it and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next one, guys, I'll see you then.